It's 88. 92? It's 92. Well, mine says from AccuWeather.com. Huh. It's 92 degrees out here. I don't here. know if I trust AccuWeather. They're not very accurate. Wow. Yeah. That was, I mean, that's. it was so that was, obvious that it kind yeah, of hurt. It wasn't good. I didn't like it. Excessive heat warning. Yeah. From Thursday to Thursday. Because <laughs> these jokes are fire. Okay, can oh, we start this God. horrible show that we call a oh, show? God, that was awful. <laughs> Welcome to Resting Your Morning. Out of the blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Uh, my name is Aaron. Joined as always with... You're sticking with that. Yes, we are sticking okay. with that. <laughs> you guys know that I'm starting to use like the pre-conversations. Yeah, as I know. Bit. That's that's. I'm like just going too. for yeah, it. It's fine. fine. Yeah, but, it doesn't matter. But you're sticking with the intro as a resting... Nobody cares. Somebody might What if somebody was here Let us know if you care, because if you do, I'll do it again. What if someone's tuning in? Blah, 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 blah. On yeah. a radio uh-huh. right now. Uh huh. Yeah, that's, that makes that perfect part. sense. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. And then the next week they're going to be like, I want to listen to that podcast again. And they Google <laughs> arresting the blah, 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 and they get some like weird, yeah. weird cop porn. Like arresting a blah, 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 blah. cop porn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to stay away from that. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Joined as always with Travis from Howie Games and Cody from Stealing We're Life. Still in the intro. I forgot about that. <laughs> Hi. How are you? Nobody cares. How is life? Don't even don't even bring up anything. It's no. all dangerous. dangerous. I got a log. Dangerous things <laughs> are dangerous. Go. That's what we're doing. I got a log. Okay. He's got a giant log and he wants to shove it right in Big your face. Fucking log. You guys can touch it. For if everybody. You want to. I want to touch his log. Know. Don't it, no. Don't explain it yet. It's don't not do that. Log. It, it's way too early to explain things. Yeah. God, you're no, killing everything. I thought it was a log. Like I thought he was getting a log in the mail, and I was so excited. And then he got you this were weird excited piece of for metal. him getting a large piece of wood. <laughs> yeah, why? I wanted to see a log. <laughs> why? Okay, why would I get a large piece of wood in the mail? For what purpose? Because I thought you were going to start wearing flannel, flannel shirts. Okay. And like uh, carry an axe around so and be a lumberjack. So you can have seven, a log, Dexter. an axe, and a flannel shirt. Hang on. So you think lumberjacks. <laughs> Aaron, that was yeah, logs. Logs. I hated that season. In the mail, though. That's how lumberjacks get their I mean, wood? Of course. That's how it works, right? The paper companies order <laughs> logs in the mail, don't they? <laughs> they got to, you know, make paper out where, of something. Where do you think the logs come from? From the. The, the forest people. Forest people. <laughs> I want to live in Travis's world. <laughs> the log plants. You know, <laughs> the log forest people. They live in the woods and wear flannel. Logs I grow on trees, right? I thought you were trying trees, to right? <laughs> Logs grow on trees. <laughs> oh, no. By the way, sponsored by... Oh, that's the Nutrition Facts. Bang. Oh, oh yeah, bang yeah, energy. Yeah, yeah, I gotta get it there in there. Go. I gotta yeah. make sure it's in COVID, but stop. Oh, I found a new one this week. This is the guys. candy apple, apple one. It's so fucking good. It's the best one they've ever uh, made ever. I didn't find the can. I've never seen the candy apple oh. one. You guys have brought that one That's up, so and I haven't found it. Then you um, found, but I found flavor. citrus something. What? Citrus citrus twist. Never heard of that. He has one that we yeah. don't. What? That's it. Let's go. To and Idaho it tastes. Right now. I'm it fucking tastes, angry. Yeah, I am. Aaron. What? It tastes like Orange Crush. <gasps> really? It's a, yeah. It's, they did it. It's good. It's a bang? They did it. <laughs> they did it. It's an orange tree It's yeah. an orange tree They wait. fucking did it. Wait. Those math I was, You send it to us right now. We'll wait. Yep. I uh, and you know what the weird part is the only Doesn't place sound I can like find you're sending it, it to us. Where do you think do you where do you think the only place I can find it? Maverick. Is? Aaron. Nope. Really? The pick and grab. Winco. Winco? Oh, Winco? <laughs> really? Winco is the only place I've seen this thing, and it's really good. I'm actually going grocery shopping today to go buy more to just like. So jealous. <laughs> is Pick and Grab an actual place? No. Oh, well. Because I heard it on. Uh, Fresh there's a Prince Pick and Go. That's why I've been watching a lot of Fresh Prince of Bel Air lately. Oh, yeah. Isn't there a Pick and Go up here? Pick and Go? Well, that's yeah. not what I asked. Chicken yeah. Go? Chicken? I could go for some chicken. 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 Pick and, pick and chicken. Pick and grab store. <laughs> it said chicken. <laughs> chicken grab store. <laughs> and you know what's the first thing that comes up? Grab. Take a guess. What's the first thing that comes up? KFC. Fucking oh, Walmart. Tell me take oh. the, the chicken ranch. Oh, Walmart. fucking Walmart, dude. Chicken, chicken I grab was gonna store. Be the chicken ranch. Where are you going to grab your chicken? Walmart. Come down to Walmart and grab your chicken. 
Chicken Now. Oh. There's a place called Chicken Now. <laughs> this isn't what we're Dude, doing, Dude, right hold on. There's a place called Chicken Now in Vegas. God, that's a weird. Like, do you get it right now? Dude, they I mean, give it I to you so. right then. Not now, right but then. that right then in the the past. No, because so then it would be called you chicken had then. it already. Chicken future. That would be chicken then. Chicken past. Yeah. Chicken was. Chicken <laughs> will be. Chicken were. <laughs> <laughs> Did you enjoy your chicken? Uh, no idea what we were talking about. Um, so, you never found out if Pick and Grab was a real store. Oh, that's that's probably what I was trying to do. You know, because I, I heard it on Fresh Prince. I love text to speech. Speech to text is the other direction that I was thinking about. You can't, but it's you can't today. Oh fuck! Pick and grab. God damn it. <laughs> Weebly? Eh. Weebly? No. That's not Weeble a thing. Weeble wobbles? Weeble wobbles. But they don't fall down. Yeah. Yeah. Although they always mm. fell down, though. Pick versus grab. What's the difference? Okay, we're not getting into this. <laughs> well, there's a whole Wikipedia <laughs> no, article about this. this. Seriously, there's a there's a website Why called is there a whole Wiki Wikipedia Diff, Wikipedia right? Article. Like, what's the difference? Wikipedia? They're like, what's the difference between picking and grabbing? Wow. I am so interested now, all the different kind of art. I don't articles that could be like i'm confused why you're interested yeah me too why me too why does this need an article why did someone spend probably an hour or so writing up an article that's all about like what's the difference between picking and grabbing because they're like for aaron fun? to come along and go why because people yeah. like you exist yeah that'll read it <laughs> would you guys would you guys like to know the difference not really yeah you do no no come not necessarily not <laughs> okay <laughs> you know, I thought that was going to be more of a fight than that. I really did. Yeah, I guess that's not the hill he wants to die on today. Mm-mm. So nope. I was. Uh, so I'm. Go ahead. Nope. Aaron segued first. We nope, never Aaron, even finished go. talking about my log. I would love to talk about your log. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> the We're the worst. Reason. We are the Travis worst. Podcast. Thought I was getting wood in the mail, which is weird. Well, I mean, you keep saying a log. I, I'm sure that 90 percent of our view- viewers are going, "Well, what the fuck did he yeah. get?" Then? 90 yeah, 90 percent, which is one person. <laughs> yeah, which no, is considerably like higher. Three and a half. Yeah. <laughs> um. Mm. Yeah, no, it's not wood. It's a strongman implement. That's yes. what they call them, mm-hmm. right? And it's shaped it's like a, a weight lifty thing. It's a <laughs> yes, it's a weight lifty thing. It's loadable, so I can put as much weight on it as I want. Which I'm going to do 600 pounds today because I'm strong. Of course, yeah. Um, and it's amazing. But what Beat I wanted to say was, I opened it up. Right? It's beautiful. It's made oh. out of metal. Of course, and it's fucking gorgeous. And it weighs like 90 pounds, empty. So the first thing I do, right, is pick it up and lift it. Of course. Because that's why I bought it. Yeah. And I sat it down, and I forgot that it's, you know, round, so it rolls. <laughs> so I sat it down <laughs> at, like, the angle that you pick it up, uh-huh. and it proceeded to roll onto my toe, which had no <laughs> shoes on it, <laughs> and crushed my big toe oh. with a 90-pound log <laughs> two seconds after I got it. <laughs> and I had to work. And my toe oh. still hurts oh, from that. <laughs> so it was just saying hello. So if it you was get letting a log you know it was affectionate in the mail, wear shoes. So is that why I see that everyone who originally picks up a log, they'll pick it up and then shift it to their their arms are forward like that? Well, they're doing that wrong if they're doing it that way. Ha! Huh. Uh, you're supposed to roll the log at that angle before you pick it up, and you pick it up at that angle. So that you can, when you oh. lap it, it's already in the position you want to be in. Gotcha. Yeah. But then I sat it down that way mm-hmm. and let it go and forgot that round things roll. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And my toe hurts a lot right now. <laughs> it's been very annoying, but the log's amazing. That's awesome. I want to lift your You know, log. if you get Aaron to kiss it better, I bet you we'd get a bunch of views. Mm, I'm I don't think, not getting no. anywhere close to no, that. No, I don't want that to happen. Mm-mm. Neither of us want no. that to happen. It wouldn't be very good views. We'd probably end up on Pornhub, but... Well, they get a lot of traffic. Yeah, they do. They get a lot of they traffic. Do. A lot of paid traffic too, especially with us mm-hmm. talking about logs and stuff. Mm-hmm. This is a very sexually is charged focus. podcast. It really is <laughs> out of context, you know. <laughs> yeah, so uh, that's all I wanted to say is uh, don't roll your logs on your toes, children. <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> well, I'm mad at Unis Anas. Okay, let's do that. Okay. Why are you mad at Unis Anas? First Anas? off, nobody knows what that is. <laughs> I mean, some so, people do. Okay, people know what a that is. A lot of people do. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say a lot of people do. <laughs> a good chunk of mm. people. Mm. Okay. Nobody knows. No, okay, so there you why go. does it we'll have to be that. extremes? <laughs> <laughs> because that's how it is, Cody. Either that's all true. or nothing. Don't. That's very true. Don't. You yeah. boomer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> all right. Okay. Anyways, what's Unis so, Honors? So, Unis Honors. Unis Honors. Unis Honors is a, um, a channel <laughs> that Markiplier and Ethan Nestor... I think that's his name. Ethan Ness, uh, that's started that they're going to that they're going to delete after a year. Mm-hmm. It's one year. That's what Unis Honest means. But I bought why a shirt should, from wait, them. Wait, hang on. Why should we care that they're going to delete it in a year? Yeah, that's kind of one of my thoughts too. Like I I don't get it. I don't Yeah, I don't get the gimmick of it. I do. Um Explain. it's just the, the the please. Okay, the the whole idea Make is me like behind this the idea. channel. <laughs> Sell the whole idea me. behind the channel is living in the moment mm-hmm. um, and experiencing things. And the moment nothing of year. Is f- <laughs> well, yeah, but nothing is forever. Well, like if they made one video and then deleted the whole channel, that wouldn't make very much sense. It would make more sense, actually. <laughs> that would be Unis moment. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, yeah but, <laughs> you're right. But um, but that's the whole premise is they just go out and try different things like they went and had like music classes and miming classes and just different stuff like that. And it's kind of fun to watch. But, but it's um, the same. Sorry, I, I love Markiplier, but it's the same shit that everybody's doing anyways. Like there's a million videos of people going out and doing music lessons and I climbed a rock wall today and I did this. And so how is it different that just because they're going to delete it in a year? Um, I guess it just creates a fake urgency to watch it because fake urgency. There you go. Yeah. yeah, fair enough. I mean, well, essentially, if you want to see it, then you're gonna have to watch it sometime this year. Otherwise, you don't get to watch it. Just there feels like they're trying to make it more That's important than it is. I'd say you guys are pessimistic. Damn. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, you're not wrong. That's fine. No, it's fine. But uh, that's not the that's not the point of the whole thing. I didn't want to go into what the channel is. <laughs> oh, we gotta give people a fucking background. Yeah. No, we we gotta bitch about it. Yeah, but it's it because it's that's easy enough do. to just be like, it's a channel that Markiplier made. There you go. No, because then they'll be like, oh, cool. So he plays video games and he's funny, like he is on his channel. But then no, it's boring and they do weird stuff like buy coffins. They they bought coffins. They did buy coffins. Yeah, they did. Why? Well, they made a custom. It was coffin. boring. Did they ever get the coffin? Uh, no, because of COVID so far, they haven't been able to get it. Mm. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah. Anyways, why are you mad at you them? You know what? I don't even want to talk about this Just anymore. talk about you it. You just made it sad and depressing, is, like everything else in life. This is what we do. I'm sad That's and depressed now. life right now. It get took, over it. It took me... Everything's it, terrible. It took me 10 minutes Go to home. say I got a log. It's true. And I literally wanted to say, like, a... F- 40 second story about me breaking my toe and it takes 10 minutes because that's how this podcast works this is what we do it's it's our format well it's Mm -hmm. not the it's not the time now it just feels dumb and disappointing well it is but what why are you mad at them because it's dumb and disappointing what happened you mean the channel is which we kind of figured out (laughs) during the the conversation just tell us everything's dumb and disappointing no i want to know it's all over now we're all gonna die he's like it doesn't matter. Interest, mm-hmm. Making us want to know why he's mad. Sure. It's good. Yeah. It's a wrestling tactic. Uh-huh. Hey, did you know that I relate everything to wrestling? <laughs> yeah. Did you know that? Go figure. <laughs> Wrestling's dumb because it's all fake and it's all going to end soon. Everyone knows yeah. that it's fake. That's, yeah, that's not... Ooh, hot take. Mm-hmm. Are, there, are there still people out there that... Yes. Really? That say wrestling's fake and that's their, no, like... No, no, no. That they That enjoy wrestling and still feel that it's real. Oh, I don't think so. Not anybody over the age. Of I would like imagine six. little kids. Yeah, kids. Yeah, but sure. that's not what you mean. You mean people my age? No. Yeah, I meant like no. well, maybe like early twenties or something like that. No. It's like no, it's real. I couldn't hmm. imagine that. I can't imagine it either, but I feel like it still might be possible. Well, I feel like wrestling fandom has changed. How so? Because it used to be like the adults thought it was real, and it was like, oh, that guy's so tough. Mm. And now it's like we know the performers, and we appreciate like the art form of it. 
And that's what wrestling fans talk about. That's cool. And now with all the podcasts that kind of talk about behind the scenes stuff, it's kind of hard to and believe you don't, in it. You don't think that you might be a, a hair bias on this topic, uh, topic because you're such a fan? I mean, I am a little, I guess. I guess you mean more of like a casual fan. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Hmm. But if you're a real fan of wrestling, I don't see how you could think it was real. Hmm. Okay. Why are you mad at doing this on? Yeah, I was just about to transition back to that, too. <laughs> No, I'm depressed. I really do want to know. Tell us. Tell 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 people. Tell us. Tell people what? <laughs> tell people what? Tell people what? No, because now it just seems uninteresting. Travis, you're you. making it worse. It's, it's the whole thing. You're dumb. killing it. You're killing the flow. Just tell us. I, I am killing the flow. I don't want to anymore. I don't want to talk. About it. It's like having a podcast with like an eight year old. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. No. Mm. Is this really how you want to do this? Yeah, trip? is this seriously what we're going to do? <laughs> just do it. Like it's, it's gone past the point of a joke now. Just do it. <laughs> when I type it in on my phone, okay, cool. it spells unusual anus. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 is that really how it's spelled? Now I have to look up the channel because that's what? hilarious. Wait, is, it, is that the My way- phone corrects it. <gasps> unusual anus. Oh, wait. Are you looking up weird things, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> Why is that your predicted no. Yeah. No. Why is that it's what because Siri thinks you want to see? Because it doesn't know <laughs> what honest is. Well, because it's nothing. You guys. <laughs> well, no, it's because it's Latin. Anus. But A N N U S is honest. <laughs> and Unis is just U N N U S. So it just says unusual anus. <laughs> That's awesome. That's why you're. And mad so at them? I was like, "Hey, well, I sent my mom. <laughs> <laughs> I sent my mom a text of the of the of the shirt, and I was like, mm. this is a pretty cool shirt.' Huh? And she's like, "Yeah, what is it?" And I'm like, unusual, "Unusual anus. <laughs> you don't you don't read your text before you hit send. Come on, we've had enough text no, with him. No, haven't you read my That's text? That's true. That's <laughs> Come on. true. Yeah, they're pretty bad. They're, they're awful, but hilarious. That is so funny. <laughs> but you got a nifty shirt. Yeah, you do. It is cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, and I've just been telling people, like, oh, I got a cool shirt. And mm-hmm. they're like, oh, hey, what's it from? And I'm like, unusual anus. Just make sure you read it before you send it. Yeah. Or you know when it you when you actually get it in there and it goes like this is the wrong word just go in there select it and be like accept this word as a real yeah, word yeah you can add it to your dictionary yes add dictionary that's what I was thinking yeah yeah but that takes time oh, I my know phone, you just so know that I don't want to it unusual God. <laughs> you're so li- you're just gonna keep texting anus to people instead of fixing it which would take two seconds <laughs> yeah, it's kind of funny it is it makes me funny. giggle a little <laughs> that's what he said then. Because he texted us, I think. Or maybe just me. I don't know. Maybe just you. But he said my unusual anus shirt came in. And I just ignored it, I think. Because I didn't want to know what he was talking about. I don't know about. what you're talking about. And I don't want to know. I didn't want to know. So I was like, good. I just left it alone. Cool. <laughs> yeah. that's it, it just does that. Yeah. Okay. Well, that cleared up a mystery from like two days ago or whatever. Working on a mystery. <laughs> I'm trying to remember the rest of the song now, and I've totally forgotten even yeah. what song it was. But I think I think <laughs> I don't know. someone recognized that, and they'll be like, "Ah!" But uh, <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, that's totally what it is. I have no idea what it is. Yeah, I just don't remember the words. Oh, I do remember. Yeah, see, that like it's. It's oh shit! That's gonna fuck me up all day now. God damn it! Sorry, I was away from the mic. Running down the drain, and working on a mystery. That's definitely not the order of this. I don't the, think that's the the words. Is that the words? That's I, a Tom something, Petty something, song. Something, something, it something. is. Yeah. Yeah. Why do we that's know a Tom, Tom Petty, Petty song? But that's Tom, wait. Just, hang on. Hold on. What? Why do we know a Tom Petty? Tom Petty's like one of the greatest artists of all time. Yeah, he's really good. He's no, he's fucking terrible. What? N- he's just trolling. Don't worry about no, that. No, I can't let that go. He's just trolling. Tom Petty's like <laughs> top five of all time. But he's just trolling. But it's not nice. I actually really don't know who Tom Petty is. You, you'd recognize know. like all of his like songs, every dude. Song, That's about it. If we put it on, he would be like, "Oh, I know that song." You, you'll. I'm not going to put the songs on, but I'll give you a, like a really quick uh, list of the songs that he's yeah. done because trust me, you are going to know like 
at, at least 80% of his, I his mean, hits. I mean, he knew that one from you saying <laughs> right? three words. <laughs> That's a he did Heart song. Shaped Box, Wait and Bleed, and um, Crunk Juice. Crunk Juice. Sure. Crunk Juice, yeah, that was a big Tom Petty hit. <laughs> Hey everybody, um, we got the new Tom Petty hit, Crunk Juice, coming so at you. <laughs> that song was called Running Down a Dream. Yeah. And, uh, it's a yeah. great song. God, Tom Petty's so good. Can yeah. we just do the whole podcast on how good Tom Petty is? <laughs> was, I guess? I um, don't really know who he is. So, so. good. Uh, I Won't Back Down. He's working yeah, on a mystery. That was him. Yep. That was really good. Uh, Learning to Fly, I fucking know that song. I just I don't remember. It. It's uh, so good. I mean, he's got to know Free Fallen, right? Oh, yeah. Yep. Uh, American Girl. Yeah, I know that one. America, yeah. So good. I know American Woman. No, uh, American not that, no. King Girl. Remember? Not that, no. Nah. Not that. Mm. Not, mm. That one's not ringing a bell. Well, you're, mm. you you know it. Yeah. Do you know the, <laughs> would you think of American Woman? Are you thinking of the Lenny Kravitz one? Oh, yeah, he is. Uh, yeah, he is. Uh, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Why is that one uh but Tom Petty's okay? Because Lenny Kravitz sucks yeah, and Tom I, Petty's amazing. Yeah, I don't like Lenny Kravitz. You're wrong in this situation, Travis. I don't even know who Lenny Kravitz is. I just know American Woman. The the song you're thinking of, that's the Lenny Kravitz one for sure. Yeah. I know you're not thinking of the original one. Ugh. <sighs> anyway. Um so <laughs> Sunday I was in Vegas. Um and braving the riots and such. That was not a good choice. Well, you know, it's what it is. But, yeah. Um, I went out there. because you wanna... riot? Oh, yeah. Riot. Yeah, but I'm a bitch, though. <laughs> I want to stay away from all that. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm... I do have to bring up something about that. This is what we do, Aaron. Well, what's, what's your time? What's your time? Embrace what's your it. Done? This is what we do. What is it, Travis? <laughs> okay. Somebody somebody kept, like, there was a video going around. Of, I don't think it was from Vegas. <laughs> But it was people were like, oh, somebody just kept it. It came out and set a pallet of bricks here. Mm. Yeah, I I saw that. I saw that, too. Mm -hmm. But then uh, one of our friends, a mutual friend, Aaron, you'd know him. I'm not going to bring up names because I don't know if they'd want to be mentioned on a podcast. Jimothy McJimerson. That's a great name. (laughs) Jimothy. Good old Jimothy from high school. Yeah, Jimothy McJimerson. The third, Um, actually. (laughs) Esquire. He actually sent... um, a thing over Facebook, like, hey, they set a bunch of pallets out in Vegas. Don't touch those bricks. Like, I was like, wait a minute. Do they have cooties? Well, no, like, it, um, the, they got the, the anthrax. Is, cons- is that they're, they're like instigating the riots. They're putting shit out for people to throw. Oh, so, and, and, like, I didn't know who, what it was there for. <laughs> who, who is they? I have no fucking idea, okay. but like, wow, I'm dumb. What do, you, what do you guys think about that? I I like to see actual pictures from real people, not just like yeah. Like I just need timestamps, you know, real timestamps. So like, did this actually just come out, or did they just happen to have some pictures of bricks and right. like, oh, there's a thing that's I going on? I have no on. idea. I have no thoughts on it, but I do have a thought on what does Esquire mean? I've never known uh, this. It's uh, Esquire. Uh, yeah, like when you're Jimothy McJimerson the third Esquire. What does that mean? Oh, Esquire. George S. Esquire, the Esquire E. Third. Sure. Wellington. Uh, what does Esquire mean? Do you know what it means, or are you just saying Esquire a bunch? I'm the only term. Uh, the only Me time or Aaron? Heard it. You, Travis. Because you were saying things. <laughs> oh, I'm just saying Esquire. Okay. A bunch. That's fine. Because I've just. I never knew what that meant. I've heard it a bunch, and I associate it with fancy people. Oh. Is it fancy people? It is associated no. with fancy people. Yeah. Uh, Did you Google it, Eric? He's Googling it right now. So, uh, historically, it's a young nobleman in training for knighthood uh, who acted as an attendant to a knight. Oh, fancy people. And now... So he's a squire. Yeah. Esquire. Why'd they add the S? Esquire. Maybe it's Spanish. (laughs) Esquire. Esquire. But... But oh, like his Spanish accent. <laughs> it's there's a new uh, modern day usage for it. French. Is it uh, a title appended to a lawyer's surname? So an actual lawyer is technically an esquire. So fancy people. Yeah. If you think lawyers are fancy and not I mean they're scumbags, rich. most of them are rich. Well, I associate fancy with scumbags. So it's okay. <laughs> a fancy scumbag. Like, the, <laughs> like whatever happened to Saul? That um, that Better show, Call Saul. Call Saul or never seen it. Better Call yeah, Saul. Yeah, like I. Never watched. It, um, it was a show. It was a show about the lawyer from Breaking, mm-hmm. Breaking Bad. Yeah, mm-hmm. I liked it, but I it just seemed like it went away. It's still on. 
Yeah, I hear about it all the time. Uh-huh. Yeah, it, it's gained oh. somewhat of a following. People love it. Mm-hmm. I've never watched a single episode. Before. I never saw Breaking Bad, so I never bothered to watch that. that. I assume sucks. that both of them are pretty good. No, and I like They're most good. things. Cody's just an asshole. Yeah, I figured that's. Okay. I mean, I am. Yeah, but Breaking Bad's terrible. Sure. Okay. What did you do in Vegas, buddy? Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, that was the thing. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, did you throw bricks? Uh, did you find bricks to put out? We're not out for doing people? that. Stop it. Let it go. We're not talking about the riots. <laughs> we're talking about the so, adventures of Aaron. I know that like there's a lot of space in between <sighs> Vegas because it's a big city, but we went to Town Square, which is a, a usually a really population dense kind of area. Mm, it's nice too. It, it was. Is that the one with fries and stuff and the guitar center we always <laughs> yes. go to? I thought he ah, meant French okay. fries. No, I mean, I'm sure they got some around there, but he's like, "Is that where we ate those chili fries?" <laughs> Aaron doesn't eat chili fries, so you know that's a Fuck. a wrong statement. That's true. Yes. Anyway, it is. Um, and it was super peaceful, and um, there was oh, that would have been bad. <laughs> Uh, and there was basically uh, very, very few people there. Oh, Everyone God. was, you know, abiding by the the whole, you know, social, social distancing, distancing yeah. and keeping masks on. Mm-hmm. And it That's was good. good. It was good. And uh, I wanted to go and take some pictures. Nice. Just wanted to get uh, a couple of things from the stores, like the makeup stores and such. And it was cool. They were all like uh, the makeup stores in particular were very, very, very careful because people usually like touch things in there and yeah, put and, it in their mouths and stuff. Mm-hmm, yeah. And they said no one's put allowed to test anything. Good. And uh, they had a guy who was like looking and, and checking, make sure everyone looks normal hey you fucking testing <laughs> if you tried to touch something you, you fucking you with a rubber band mm-hmm. right in the nostril and it's funny he too because he was like a- uh six four and like really gay <laughs> <laughs> it's like i'll fucking <laughs> six I'll- feet four inches of gay <laughs> <laughs> and he's like i'll fucking I'm slap your you, little bitch. bottom wow <laughs> 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 No, but uh, le- hey, Aaron, legitimately really everyone there was like super super nice that's so funny and uh and you know uh, that's good it was cool it was really cool the only thing that was really interesting to me was like everywhere was really really empty obviously uh the the makeup stores were the ones that were everyone was kind of there but the fucking apple store mm. dude there was a huge line going wow. in there massive line Great. and they were like is there a new apple thing coming out i don't know i have no idea because i don't follow I don't apple because so. it's all like fucking overpriced Me neither. It's shit. all junk. I don't garbage. It's good <laughs> stuff trash. at way too high of a price for things that are made so, in China. Because I've heard they're gonna be like it's announcing not even good some stuff shit anymore. Soon. It is pretty good stuff actually. Um, they're supposed to be doing glasses. No, that's terrible. I've heard. Which really? is stupid. Like yeah. Google did. It is dumb. Um. So the thing is, is that there was a line a going damn near around the dongle. corner, and there was a guy testing, um, like actually His doing dongle? ear, te- uh, like in ear. Th- thermal tests to oh. check people's temperature and everyone had to wear a mask and they're like being super super careful in ear thermal test did they use like a little condom on the thing yeah yeah yeah. Like i saw them, like click okay. every single time the disposable things mm-hmm. yeah okay good they were probably yeah. going through a shitload though but as apple probably. so they make a ridiculous profit market dude i got through so many of those it's yeah the dumb. phone cost 14 cents to make and mm-hmm. eight thousand dollars to buy mm-hmm. so it's because it's garbage does it even it's- cost 14 cents to make Probably not. Mm-hmm. Probably five. Yeah. I would actually, yeah, like two and a half. <laughs> two and a half. It's free. They just give stuff. <laughs> hey, Aaron, at unrelated, I have a question. Unrelated. That's good. Sure. I like it. Why not? How long has it been since you've eaten a French fry? I've had sweet potato fries in. No. The- French fry. Doesn't count. French fry. Fried. I, I have no French idea. Mm. I, I really, I don't That's know. That's too long. I feel like you need some fries in yeah. your body. I don't. Like think, fries as much as I um, used to. Comment down the below. That's because you broke yourself. <laughs> to have Aaron eat a French fry, one French fry. Comment down below. I like how Travis feels like the comment section wields this power <laughs> over us. If we it get does. one comment, uh, the yeah. world will like us. <laughs> Everything changes. Maybe. <laughs> Hashtag free the fries. What? Free, free the fries. Free the fries. It, in the tumultuous. <laughs> political nature we have going on yeah, right now free the fries is what he wants to push <sighs> we need we need a, a shirt and um a movement there's only gonna be one shirt with- that's gonna be made out of us and it's complicated uh, fucking pancakes yeah complicated pancakes. complicated french fries <laughs> no no we'll just have complicated things 
I, if you were to do complicated French fries, though, it would be like those those hash fries, the like Chris Cut fries. Yeah, Chris Cut. Yeah. yeah, thank you. The Chris Cut fries. Yeah, those are complicated <laughs> French fries. Cody does so. We're gonna have a whole complicated <laughs> series of food. That is good. I like that. Yeah, I do sell a lot. People love complicated French fries. <laughs> Fucking love them. They do. Yeah. They okay. Like, every time I go to Carl's Jr., they don't hold. Oh, wait, though. By the way, they do not hold well. By the way. By the way. Hmm. By the, by, by the way, the by. by the way, I finally went and looked up the nutrition facts mm-hmm. on a Beyond Burger. Yeah, it's terrible for you. Even even lettuce wrap, that shit's terrible. Yeah, like even lettuce wrap with no cheese, no mayo. Oh, I I I'm dumb. Yeah, I've been poisoning myself. I mean, just because time. it's plant based doesn't mean it's good for you. Yeah, it's all fat. They just put a bunch of fat in there. That's well, why it's good. It's because of the uh, uh, the uh, the. <laughs> The nut content, because mm. they made out of a lot of nuts. <laughs> nut. You said you know. that. Ha, 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 um, So, is a Beyond Burger complicated nuts? It would be a complicated burger, wouldn't it's, it? Yeah, it's a complicated burger. Yeah. Homogenized nuts. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what the fuck were we actually I talking about? Funny. I have no idea. I was talking about my vacation trip, but oh. we move so swiftly on swiftly. from that. Well, I just wanted to know. So how we need long an entire series of uh, uh, complicated things. Of complicated things, yeah, absolutely. Uh, all food, though, food. it has to be complicated food, and have an entire line, and just because we're just we're we're complicated spaghetti. Is this podcast? You know, no. I don't know if I understand cotton that. Cotton candy? You know what cotton candy Carotin is? Cran- it's just complicated sugar. <laughs> cotton candy. Cotton Cran- candy. I love some cotton candy. I love my cotton candies. <laughs> this is a terrible show- podcast. You have one of those show- really <laughs> moments of clarity. I love it. And I just love like, it. Jesus, we're this fucking awful. This is my awful. favorite, is when we make zero sense. It's my favorite. We're just all Can over Trump the place. be a complicated president can we with not, his little Bible? Can you take? Can you stay away from things that we literally said we're not no, going to talk about? No, but the about? Bible thing was that was funny. very funny. But it doesn't matter. Like he's oh, we that literally was just before perfect. we started said don't bring stuff up, and he brings it all up. We're not uh, we're not bringing up anything in specific. I hate you. Like I we're not hate talking you. about political things. So, we're just talking about Trump showcasing his little Bible. <laughs> do you guys know how Snapchat works? <laughs> no. I have no idea what Snapchat I is. I you assume that it's, it's, it's you Vine. You it to somebody. Uh, and it like short-term it Vine, so you basically. you don't have any criminal and, evidence. You know, people just do things like, oh, because I've seen people like post pictures on there and yeah. shit. And it's just like, oh, yeah. And then your picture's gone. Well, so I'm old, right? We're all old. Yeah, we're all old. Um, <clears throat> I'm Big 3 old. Some things have been making me realize how old I am lately. Because I downloaded the Snapchat. Yeah. <laughs> The because, Snapchat. Uh, Who are you snapping with? Can you, I was thing. literally two seconds away from saying why. And he always okay. asks the question <laughs> right before you're going to give the answer to his question. Mm-hmm. I didn't give the answer. You were. Oh gonna my god! You Just a- shut up for a second. Mm, I don't even want to anymore. Now it'll be Travis. Nope. Uh, don't don't be Travis. Nope. Don't be Travis. It's so the worst. I got it for one reason. I agree. Don't for world's strongest man. No. They're holding like a at home competition right now. Are you going to be the world's strongest man? Well, not for people. For world's strongest men are in the competition. Yeah. So, like, you know, Eddie Williams, Nick Best, guys like that. Why didn't you just watch it on YouTube after people ripped the Snapchat videos? <sighs> Can you just let me tell the story? <laughs> okay. <laughs> because I wanted to watch it as it was happening. You get to vote on stuff, and I want to be included. I like strong man. Yeah. Well, did, so. Cody likes strong Was man. it in any way, like, <laughs> did you show a video of yourself doing the things? No. Oh, okay. I thought it was like one of those things where they're like, oh yeah, you show a video. And no, then it's those- it, they're doing an actual competition where the winner gets like ten thousand dollars, or whatever, because oh, they can't hold competitions right now. Right. So they're doing it on Snapchat, where it can be easily faked. And uh, well, yeah, but it's different. <laughs> <They're>, <laughs> if you're if you guys would let me finish, okay. They're yep. having the strongmen do like creative things. It's mm. not about pure strength right now because <laughs> where it can obviously be you could faked. cheat. So they had, like, the one I saw recently was a deadlift competition between Nick Best and Eddie Williams. Right. And Eddie Williams is on, uh, he's from Australia. Mm-hmm. And he's in Australia. So he did a deadlift of 275 pounds for reps. But he did it upside down. No, he did it with barbecues on the bar. Oh. <laughs> while he was cooking meat. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And when how he was, did they know how much it weighed, though? That's not the point. The weight is not the important part. He said it weighed 275 pounds. That's fine. It doesn't matter. That's not a big weight for strongman anyways. No. 
Um, we can do that. What they're basically doing is just be creative with your lifts mm-hmm. kind of thing. And uh, when he was done, he made a sandwich out of the meat that was cooking while he was deadlifting. Nice. And then Nick Best was not creative at all and just did reps of 605, which is very impressive. Sure. He did 17 reps in a minute. Oh, my God. And he's 51 years old. Yeah. No, he's, a, he's a ridiculous 605. dude. He's super strong. And he's that not, man's joints are going to be fucked. Dude, his stance is crazy narrow. Have you seen the way Nick Best deadlifts? Mm. Super close together. His feet are like out like that. It's crazy. I don't know how he's not is it, Are you actually saying Nick Best? Yeah, his name That's is his name. literally Nick Best. Yeah, Nick Best. And I'm pretty sure that's not a stage like a name stage or anything. Name or no, that's, that's his name. Legitimately, like, legal name. Yeah. But anywho... But is he? Uh, he's pretty damn he's good. He's really good. But anywho, I downloaded the Snapchat, and it's instantly confusing. <laughs> so, <laughs> you open Snapchat, right? And you sign up, and you put in your information, whatever. Sure. <clears throat> and I assume it, Facebook. it would take me to, like, a Facebook-type thing, where I get to, like, Home search page. stuff. Yeah. yeah. It just opens, and it's my face. My camera's on, and it's just showing me me. Why? Because I guess that's what Snapchat do. And I'm just instantly well, yeah, confused. It's... And then it made me upset because I'm looking at myself being confused. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'm confused by the confusion on my face. And you can, It's like a feedback loop. Yeah, just constant confusion You see happening. yourself getting more confused, and you get more confused, so you get more confused. <laughs> yeah, and I'm just... Very, and then like you can, I look at me looking around the screen. Like, like, where do I go to find stuff? And I'm just saddened by the way I look. You know, <laughs> like I'm, wouldn't it be great to be a fly on the wall when Cody was doing so, that and have it like recorded? And it took me a good like ten minutes to find out where to even search for stuff. Did you just go ahead and take a picture of yourself, though? No. Why? Because That's got to be part of it. Because I don't know if you take a picture and it just instantly sends it places. It's probably true. And I don't know how that works. No, it, it doesn't. It's just a, um, so, how, oh, you, you know how, Snapchat like, you know master. How, oh. mm. <laughs> you know how Instagram has, like, stories? Uh-huh. No, but okay. Um, you can either, when you take a, well, Aaron, you don't no, know No, but okay. But, I um, do at least know the stories thing. So you can either take a picture and send it directly to somebody that deletes after X amount of time Mm -hmm. because, you know, dick pics. Dick pics. Or you can set it as a story. Story. Um, And that's that's basically Snapchat, is you either send things directly to people or set it as a story. And uh, that's it. You know, for someone who regularly takes a lot of pictures, like myself, I have no idea what Instagram really is for. And I probably you don't should. really do it with your phone. No, though. Instagram is for yeah selfies, like phone pictures but and stuff. Those are lame. Yeah. yeah, but that's what people like. People like lame stuff. Yeah, people don't think that cameras are any good. Why do you anymore, think Kanye actually. West got famous? You know how many um, articles I see that say like, "Well, iPhones are better than any Canon camera you can yeah, buy out." There. People buy phones for the camera when they could spend less money mm-hmm. and get a good camera. I feel like we had this exact conversation before. We probably have. <laughs> I'm just. Uh, social media confuses me it's, deeply. Dude, Snapchat was weird, and I've only used it once. Why do you think our podcast isn't very popular? Uh, I don't know how to promote it. I only uh, went on there once and looked at the World's Strongest Man stuff, and then I was like, yeah, I'm kind of over this. <laughs> like, it, <laughs> and it was cool, delete. But like Travis said, it was like, I'll just watch it, the compilations on YouTube. So fucking old. Like, it's better. The, the problem is, is I think that we have to make an attempt to try to be a part of social media in order for yeah. us to understand it. And I none of us just Snapchat. want to do it anymore. I downloaded Snapchat. But only f- because you saw one thing that you were interested in. Yeah. Well, it's like Instagram I like, but Snapchat, I, well, I feel like Snapchat's more peer-to-peer, isn't it? I th- <laughs> Well, now, uh, peer-to-peer. now I think more people are getting into it because like Will Smith has a Snapchat that he does funny videos Almost on. worth it with that alone. Yeah. Just follow but him and that's it. I went to his it. thing and none of his videos were there still. Mm. So I don't know uh, how that worked because they, they delete after a while, no, don't they? World Strongest Man was still there. They had all their videos up still. So I think there's a way you can save them. Mm. Mm. But I think Will's do that's delete a, after a while. But that's okay because he put up a compilation on YouTube. So yes. I got to watch it and it was really funny. But no, and that, I think that's the whole gimmick about Snapchat is that it deletes itself. So well, you don't have to have things out there forever on the internet. So you can send a dick pic to people. Yes, you said dick pic 54 times. Mm. 
That's all it is. No, it's really not anymore. It's, Do you use it? It's just dick pics. Yeah, I send dick pics all the time. I'm like, hey, you look like you could use a dick pic. Here you go. No, I don't. I don't do that. Don't yell at me. <laughs> don't yell don't at me. Don't yell at me. Um, anywho, I, I try. Don't cost me I have the Instagrams and the Facebooks and the Twitters and Snapchat now that I've only opened the one time and was very confused. Does that really count, though? I like Twitter. No. I guess, <laughs> I guess until I start using it. I think Twitter even escapes me more than any of the other ones. Twitter's do. the easiest. Um, Twitter, Twitter is pretty much exactly how Donald Trump uses it. Um, you just think of something Why? and don't. Why can't we don't go think five about, minutes without you bringing up <laughs> Trump or something stupid? No, you just don't think about For what you're saying, sake. and you put it out into the internet. That's why he likes it so much. Put it out because yeah. he doesn't think about it at all. <laughs> it is funny though, because there's a lot of dumb shit on Twitter. I know a lot yeah, of people you just get don't fired think about what you're comments. saying and yeah. immediately type it and hit send. Oh yeah. That's all it's for. I that's probably why I don't get it. I overthink everything. So I was just yeah. like, nope. Mm-mm, nope. Don't like yeah, it. Yeah, so like uh, if you had a random thought in the shower, Aaron, mm-hmm. rather than thinking it over and being like, that's probably not worthwhile to anybody, you put it on the internet. <laughs> is that is that life now? It's just yes. that everyone's just like you don't actually like like proofread mm-hmm. any of your thoughts anymore no. you just like throw it out there as yeah. fast as you can why would you think about something yep <sighs> you. you're wasting time i hate and the facebook is pretty much twitter but with videos there's a lot more videos on facebook you know those ones at least make some sense to me snapchat really doesn't make sense like i know people that use snapchat that actually use it to talk to people you know and but I think that's the that's the point is that you just use it like it's more of a peer to peer thing. Yeah, I right? know. But what I'm saying is it makes no sense because they could just text each other. They're friends like they literally know each other. And I saw this guy sit. I work with him. He on Snapchat. He just takes a picture of like the desk at work so that he could write a caption because you send pictures and yeah. it was like, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> and it was a picture of a desk. It's like you could just text him, hey, what are you doing? Why does he need a picture of the work desk? Because Snapchat's better. Why? Because um, I mobile companies you, have no, a conspiracy to Aaron, take up your data. Why? Man, I don't understand any of this. It's fucking dumb. And it makes me feel old. And I'm not that old. You're not. And then I, I had a whole day of like self-realization that I'm acting like an old man because I had the Snapchat fiasco of me looking at myself being very confused. <laughs> and then like, I wanted to listen to some Muzaks mm-hmm. at work and I was like, I'm going to try some stuff. I'm going to be adventurous. Right. You, know, you just had a whole day of like, let's, <laughs> let's find out how old <laughs> I am. Disappointing let's, confusion. let's be young again. <laughs> and I just, I went to like, I want to be young. I went again. to the top songs and I didn't know anybody. I sure. went to rap because I like rap. Sure. I didn't know any of them, and I clicked one. I had no idea what the fucker was saying, and I felt like my Was it mumble rap? Huh? Was it mumble rap? It was, apparently. Mm. And I felt like my dad, when I would listen to my music with him, and he'd be like, well, you can't understand a thing they're saying. I was like, yeah, dad, you can. You just gotta listen. And now I'm like, these guys don't, they don't say words. They just make sounds. So then I found myself just listening to Ludacris again from 2002. <laughs> and it's like, that was good. And this is garbage. And I'm mad at myself because I can't do anything new. Yeah. <laughs> I can't do anything new, damn it. Yeah. Maybe it's like, I don't know. I, I thought I had a thought, but it just went away. <laughs> I'm well, old. Excuse yeah. me, like Travis. Maybe it's. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he came out firing too. Right. Maybe I'm gonna. I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I. I mean, I get it. Like you like what you grew up on. I understand that point of it. Yeah, because I think all of us mostly listen to the stuff we listened to in high school. Mm, yeah. But um, I have a few new things, but not terribly. Yeah. It's weird. I just think it's all like, garbage. Uh, it's it's funny though. Uh I don't listen to basically any of the music that I listened to back uh in high school, but I listen to things from the same time that I didn't listen to at the time because I didn't know about it, but I know about oh, it now. Right, yeah. You know, like yeah. uh uh Bumblefoot, 
uh, was all released before then, and that's probably things I would have listened to yeah. back then, but I didn't know about it. So now, now I'm listening to it now. Uh, although Periphery wasn't around back then, I really liked them. He is yeah. Legend wasn't around yeah. back then. There's a few things, you know. He is Legend was, or no, it wasn't. He is Legend no. was it? No. no, it was uh, Protest the Hero. That was like right after high school. Yeah, right. Yeah, probably. Pretty much. Never really listened to them. Yeah. Not really for you. Yeah. yeah. Nothing mm. is apparently. <laughs> Except for fucking music from 2000 to 2003. <laughs> Small window, but it's good. It's a good window. Limp it's Biscuit, good. A lot of good know? stuff. Limp Bizkit. All Limp Bizkit. <laughs> yeah. Good, good. I listened to nothing but Fred Durst. <laughs> That's it. I'm gonna Durst my way to success. <laughs> Durst it up. Well, everyone will hate you. I still like the used new stuff, and I haven't listened well, to it. Well, see, but that's an old band, though. Because, like, I listen to every... You know, every month when Tech Nine releases a new album, yeah, I listen to his albums and I love them. But Each album that comes out every month, twenty. But minutes. I've been listening to him since I was nine. You know, does he really right. put out that much music, dude? He, he puts out two a year. Yeah, it's like every six Damn. months he puts yeah. out an album. Well, he usually puts out uh, an EP and then an album. Yeah, boy's busy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He he is the hardest working musician <laughs> in the world. Yeah, the guy's ridiculous. Like there, there's and he tours like crazy too. Yeah, there, there's a lot of people who like say, oh, all these guys work so hard. They're always putting out music. There's no one that can beat him. Yeah, he's not a chance. He's constantly on tour and he's constantly recording new music. Mm-hmm. It's ridiculous. And he runs that label too. Does it actually all sound good, or is it yeah. just like yeah, of rehashing the same shit? No, it's actually a lot of his shit. He takes a lot of chances. He's only ever made one album I didn't like, and it was uh, when he wanted to do some rock stuff, mm-hmm. and it just didn't it didn't work. And good for him for trying. Yeah, but he always does different stuff. Didn't Little Wayne try that too? Probably. Oh yeah, I said I that saw... wrong. I said Little Wayne. <laughs> yeah, isn't it Little? Yeah, Small Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> I saw him with a guitar every once in a while, so probably Tiny Wayne. Tiny. <laughs> That's like Minuscule uh... Wayne. <laughs> Complicated Wayne. Complicated, Complicated Wayne. Wayne. There it is. <laughs> That's it. Just have him on the shirt with a guitar. That's the Complicated title. Wayne. That's the title. Complicated Wayne. Mm-hmm. Oh shit! But Machine Gun Kelly seems like he's uh, genrely confused too. Because wasn't he a rapper? And now he's well, like he's <sighs> see. Because like Tech Nine loves uh, metal, and he's always wanted to try to do metal stuff and he didn't try to do like a metal song he rapped to metal and it just didn't work and that's fine mm. and he realized it didn't work and he went back to what he does but his stuff sounds not kind of did that you know different and interesting uh, no they didn't you've said that many times mm. that's not rap that's saying things fast it's different uh, <laughs> what cory taylor did was not rap it wasn't no um who the fuck were you so spit it out wouldn't be considered rap? no Kelly. spit it out is not rap in my opinion my humble opinion. Yes, MGK. He was awesome, right? Like, his first album was amazing. I loved MGK so much. And his second was album... It, was he a rapper yes. originally, or was he, like... Okay. He had a mixtape That's where I'm called confused. Lace It Up. I don't know if that was actually his first album. That was the first one I heard. And it was amazing. And mm-hmm. his second album was good. And his third album was worse. <laughs> and <laughs> then he became a pop star. <laughs> And he had a well, huge yeah, that's hit. why I thought it was weird. Um, good for him. He's making money. Like he had a massive pop hit, but he's just he's totally changed. And now, like he's trying to be like a rock star guy, and he's got a guitar, and he like so wears tight <laughs> jeans. <laughs> that is definitely that's well, definitely some producer going like, okay, this is how we're going to make you famous. Yeah. Do these things, and I then guess. fame will come to you. And rape you, well, like, right in the asshole. And then he got a brilliant idea to attack Eminem and get yeah. into a rap oh, that was fight. Funny. That with was Eminem. smart. It that was, was smart. really smart. I guess it got him a lot of publicity, but man, it also well kind of eviscerated him a little bit. I went um, to see Fallout Boy at the, that was um, the year that, that happened. What? Um, and this, <laughs> wow! And, no, and, and Machine Gun Kelly. Oh my! How much did they pay God, you, Aaron? How much did they pay you to go? You guys are just fucking negative. <laughs> <laughs> fucking negative about everything. Uh, yeah, fucking, we are. Fucking negative. So what anyway, I went to show? enjoy a show because I was happy. <laughs> And my friend's band was there, Fall Out Boy? and they were you good. You know Fallout Boy? No, I know State Champs. Oh. Um, Don't know who that is. But 
it, they're they're a smaller pop punk That's band, okay. and I like, I don't them. like them. But um, <laughs> it, but anyway, <laughs> I went and saw them, and I was like expecting. <laughs> I was expecting Machine Gun Kelly to come out and do, you know, the rappy thing, right? Oh, you caught him in his pop, pop bubble. place. <laughs> the pop bubble. Well, yeah, because I uh, literally, <laughs> literally, um, what was it? The Rap Devil? Oh, yeah. Was that yeah, what yeah. it was? Mm-hmm. Had just come out, and that's the, like pretty much the only place I really knew him Which from. Which was actually was Rap Devil. really good. Yeah, I thought it wasn't was bad. Rap I thought it was, was pretty awesome. good. I mean, it's just you don't attack one of the best rappers there are. Yeah, you don't attack Eminem as much as I destroy you. Eminem, and he's one he of the did. best. I just don't like his voice. Sure. Yeah. Um. But anyway, so <clears throat> like, Rap Devil just come out, and I'm expecting him to do um do that rappy thing, you know. And he comes out and immediately has his shirt off. Yep. Oh, well, that tight was always his thing, though. Was the shirt off? Uh, sure, a lot That's of people do that. Because he's got the tattoos like crazy. Show With off the tight leather pants and a little. A little acoustic guitar, yeah. and he starts singing what? like some half country yeah. thing. He started Ooh. playing guitar and singing, and he can't sing. <sighs> no, it was uh, he was he was really bad. Yeah, I, <laughs> I've seen him like, actually. I've seen uh, MGK when he was still MGK, or actually no, when he was Machine Gun Kelly, because now he goes by MGK. Um, and he isn't that just an abbreviation? It is, but he doesn't go by Machine Gun Kelly anymore. He just, just Probably so if he calls Machine, Machine Gun, Gun Kelly, will he get angry? Exactly. That's why. It's yeah, no, he's not Machine Gun Kelly anymore. He's MGK. It's different. But he opened for Tech Nine. Just makes me think of magic. <laughs> oh, <laughs> if he opened for Tech Nine now, that'd be kind of weird. He opened for Tech Nine back in the day. I oh, saw okay. this was like eight years ago, mm-hmm. something like that, when he was still awesome. That was probably a cool and show. And he fucking killed it. He was weird and unbelievable and really good. And won over the entire crowd, and like I became a huge fan. And then he just slowly morphed into this weird, sensitive pop, pop thing. guy. Yeah. And it's like you were opening with yeah. the Tech Nine. Like, yeah. what did you do? <laughs> you were making your way. Well, and he, he was establishing himself as a real rapper. Mm-hmm. Uh, Probably well, setting up to be like, like the next Eminem. He started yeah. dancing. In the middle of the, oh, in the show, he did God, it. that's awful. He in his dancing? tight little, he's dancing. Yeah, like how though? Did it seem like, choreographed? Like sexy dancing. Oh, sexy like he was dancing. Like, mm, did it seem I'm choreographed? Sexy. I mean, maybe. Did he take his pants off? Mm. Um, no, but pro- most of the crowd that was around him that seemed like really into it was all girls. Sex. So uh, I'm assuming they would have enjoyed that. He took. Well, I asked because he did that at the show I saw him at. <laughs> He brought oh, a bunch. Yeah, he didn't do that. He brought a bunch of girls on stage and took his pants off and started dancing with them. It was actually really funny, but yeah. Mm. Well, and like you know, I thought he'd do uh, rap devil or <laughs> at least say my beard's weird. Did he even do like uh, lace up or anything? I don't fucking know because that's like, like I the thing that recognize any of his songs. Made him a big star was lace up, but but yeah, he didn't do any of that, and I was like, oh yeah, he's a disappointment now. I'm saddened. By, <laughs> I'm saddened by that. I was such a big fan. What a div- well, because I told everybody about him. Mm-hmm. Like, man, you got to listen to Machine Gun Kelly. Machine Gun Kelly's so cool. And they're like, oh, MGK? I'm like, what? He goes by that now? <laughs> Who dis? Who and dis? then I listened to his new album, and I'm like, it's so bad. There was like one rap song on it. And that was good. It was a good song. And the rest was all well, like that's acoustic what I- guitars. That's what I'm confused about is you just called out Eminem saying like your <laughs> raps the shit and now you yeah. don't rap. Yeah. What? That, it's that's a weird time. A, that's a good point because he like went so hard on like, oh yeah, you're so terrible. And now it's like, oh yeah, I'm not even rap anymore. That is weird. Yeah. Like maybe Eminem just killed him so hard. He was like, okay, I'm he did kill I, him I, very hard. <laughs> Let me teach you. He Press did. Yeah. I quit. I preferred MGK's. <laughs> I preferred MGK's song just because I'm not a fan of Eminem's sound. But what Eminem if said, you break to down him, what though, he was did, way, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, Eminem's he, one of the best, man. You can't, you can't compete with his lyrics. He's really good. Eminem like verbally made him dig a grave, and he's a ridiculous writer. He's it, very he buried him. If he just sounded different, I would love Eminem. Can you just not sound like? You a napkins, a black can, flap can. Like I hate the it. Prince dancing, dance, prince dancing, can. Like fuck, I hate it. I feel like his neck's gonna burst every time he raps. It's annoying. But he raps with feeling, man. He does, he does. But the voice, though. Yeah, 
Can you sound like Tech Nine? But the thing is, he's just an angry white what? ice cube. What is happening? Angry white ice cube? Angry white. <laughs> you mean white ice cube? Because ice cube is <laughs> pretty <true>. angry. <laughs> it's just costly. You can't really get away from anger that's, with that's ice true. cube. That's true. Yeah. yeah. A, okay. Well, I guess I should probably. Uh, a Are we talking about like Ice T yeah. or whatever yeah. his name is? No, Ice Cube. Very, very different people. Yes. <laughs> Ice T was, was Ice on Cube. TV. You don't know who Ice well, Cube I guess, is? No, they, they're both on TV now. I'm thinking about I'm it. yelling. I'm mad and I'm yelling. <laughs> I don't know who Ice Cube is. <sighs> you ever seen Friday? No. You've never what? seen Friday? I'm yelling again. No. <sighs> or next Friday? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What about Friday after next? <laughs> Is that the one that I remember in like Blockbuster? Do you that remember Friday like this... After Next, but not the other two? <laughs> well, no, like you'd go to Blockbuster and there'd be like those weird guys with the hairdos that are like all weird on a on <laughs> fucking the weird guys have, like, with the hairdos. <laughs> <laughs> the complicated hairdos. Do you know? Do you know uh, the um, NWA? The rap group. No. They did the song Fuck the Police. Straight out of Compton. Oh, I thought that wasn't that Dr. Dre? I it don't was know. Dr. Dre, Easy E, MC Ren, and Ice Cube was the main writer and main The angriest artist. voice on there. Yeah. Always angriest. And he wrote most of the raps too for the other guys. Sure, we'll go with it. How do you go through life not knowing? And, and Ice T was on SVU, yeah, right. But yeah. he was a rapper too. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But you know, people because well, he always SVU. seemed really angry. So I that thought that they were mad, the same person. Though, that like I had to say, oh, you don't know who Ice Cube is? Did you see Friday? Because people should know them for their music, in my opinion. Sure, but you know that uh, <laughs> TV is a lot more prolific than music yeah, is. Because like even I get that way. But with, I don't uh, know. Talking about Will Smith, I'm like you should know his music. His music was great. I love this music. <laughs> I knew yeah. he was a rapper, but I just really never you don't heard like rap. it. Well, uh, yeah, but I know the difference yeah. between like good rap and bad rap. He was a huge star. Okay. Big hits and everything. Sure. He was a rapper before he ever acted. Uh huh. I know that one song he did for that one show. <laughs> I can see the anger building. <laughs> I'm so mad. Can we end it now? I'm just angry. You, you know, don't respect in, rap. In West, you don't no. Understand. Okay. I think no. you know full you know, well. In that West I Virginia, I was and, born and raised. West Virginia. Yeah. Will Smith yeah. from West Virginia. In so, West Virginia, I was born. I can't totally stuff. I can't totally judge it because I've only heard like one album from Will Smith, and it was from like a long time ago, and he well, seemed all really clean. Ago. He like, is a clean rapper, like, like like too clean, I guess. Not like I don't know. It seemed. But kind, I like that though. I don't. You know, I don't think everything has to be full. Titties full. Aaron likes full. No, that's dirty. not necessarily dirty. what I'm saying. But I mean, like, like dirty, dirty, dirty. things can be. Big ludicrous fan. Aaron is. <laughs> Fuck. Um, Ooh, bitch. That's yeah, why Aaron right. does too when he goes away. to work. He's bumping it and he's screaming it at everybody on the road. Uh, just feels kind of like, I don't know. If you're in the highway, get the fuck out of my <laughs> way. <laughs> Sounded Irish for some reason. I don't know. He did a little bit. Oh, get, shit. Or Cana- oh, no, God. that was the Canadian oh, coming out. It was. Get right. the fuck out of my <laughs> way, eh? <laughs> <laughs> it's just fun. that's weird that your problem with it is that it's clean. <laughs> well, it's not. It doesn't have to necessarily be clean. Just as feels like less substance uh, than what you would see in like most other rappers. It's actually got I don't, more substance than most rap because it is clean. But I'm not looking at it as most rap. I'm only looking at the couple of artists that I've ever enjoyed. Uh, you know, which who have you enjoyed? Oh, I, I've heard the music that you sent to me from well, like Tech Ice Cube I know and you, Tech Nine, uh, of course, yeah, okay. and Eminem. I see Tech if you're and, comparing I'm to Tech Nine guy. and Ice Cube and Eminem, mm-hmm. then yeah, it had slacking a little something. Yeah, but yeah, it's because I've only heard like the top ninety nine percent, right? Right. So uh, I think his music's fantastic. I love Will Smith. It's not, Aaron's a rap elitist. It's supposed to be coming out with another album too. <laughs> yeah, Aaron the rap elitist. <laughs> I guess it's definitely <laughs> Aaron's a rap snob. <laughs> He's like, if it ain't Twister, it ain't rap. <laughs> <laughs> Twister's fantastic, by the way. <sighs> Aaron gets a matching Dark Lotus tattoo. <laughs> well, if he was a rap elitist, well, he wouldn't like those guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big fan, and I can admit it. Well, I think that's all the time we have for today. 
You guys do the things of the stuffs and the whatnots. And if you like this video, please like this video and subscribe and stuff and whatnot. And mm -hmm. rate, five, rate stars. five stars. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I wonder if Bernie Sanders also has a Bible. Bernie Sanders definitely has a Bible. Probably knows how to hold it. And, and he's showing everybody. He this nicks is also names it the Sanderesium. Why? <laughs> is that a Bible? The it's a Bible. The Sanderesium. <laughs> it's a Bible. <laughs> Kills me. It's a Bible. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. It's a Bible. <laughs> it is hot. <laughs>